I'll be showing you how to build a wake winch for around $800. This wake winch has the ability to tow people out of a deep water position up to 17 miles an hour and pull somebody the length of two football fields. So let's get started. You're gonna need a welder, miter saw, hammer, a mallet, a punch, drill, or drill press preferably, measuring tape, a socket wrench set. The most commonly used socket sizes was a 3 4 9 16 and 13 millimeter. I also needed a 10 millimeter wrench to assemble the torque converter onto the engine. You're also gonna need a 15 16 wrench, two 3 4 wrenches for spool assembly, Allen keys, drill bit set, a steel brush, a bench grinder, angle grinder to smooth out those welds. The materials you are going to need are 1 inch by 1 inch steel square tubing for the frame. We used a 212cc 6.5 horsepower Predator engine, torque converter, 6 8 inch long by half an inch threaded rod. 10 inch steel disc, fairly to organize the line. 600 feet of towing cable. You can purchase this on Amazon. Wheel hubs with a one inch bore and the ability to run a key stock through. A wakeboard towing handle. A chain and sprocket. The chain did come with the sprocket. Key stock to secure the spool components onto the axle. An 18 inch long axle half inch galvanized piping, pillow blocks, 5 8 steel rod for the axle, 10 fastener bolts. You'll need these to mount the fair lead, pillow blocks, and motor. Nuts and bolts for these. Two locking pins to secure the wheels on the transport axle. 12 nuts and 12 washers for the threaded rods. Two tires, which you can get at Harbor Freight. I use aluminum diamond plating for the splash guard. Now the hardest part of the project is building the frame. If you just wanna buy the parts and assemble it, I do sell the frame and the spools on my website at midwestwinches.com. You can buy the frame, the spool, and a completed winch if you don't feel like tackling this project. The link for the website is in the description below, as well as affiliate links for all the parts that are needed to construct the wake winch. Let's begin with cutting out the frame parts. Cut two pieces of steel at 36 inches in length for the sides of the frame. Remember to make a 45 degree cut on the ends. Cut three pieces of steel at 16 inches for the front, back, and top of the frame. For the engine mount of the frame you'll need two pieces at 9 inches in length and one piece at 14 inches in length. Cut these pieces straight. We're gonna need to cut two pieces of steel 16 inches in length, both with 45 degrees on one side and straight on the other. Cut two pieces of steel at 18 inches in length for the pillow block mounts. We're gonna need two pieces of steel for the fair lead mount. For the engine mount piece, we originally messed up with the placement. It's supposed to be offset to the side piece of the frame so that the crankshaft aligns with the gear properly. Spot weld your pieces with the bottom of the frame first, then the front of the frame. Your frame should look something like this when you're finished. Now for the spool. You want to drill a hole one inch in diameter or bigger depending on what wheel hubs you go with. Use your wheel hubs as a reference to mark the drill holes needed to mount them. Then we're going to need to mark out the holes needed for the threaded rods. Start by drawing out three lines through the center of the disc. Next. Measure from the side of the center hole and mark your drill holes on the lines you just made for the threaded rods. Make sure it's high enough that it won't interfere with the wheel hubs once they're mounted. Use a punch to mark your holes. Tape or clamp the disc together and drill your holes. 
Cut your galvanized pipe into six pieces of six inches in length. Cut your threaded rods around eight inches in length. Use a bench grinder to smooth out the ends of your cuts if needed. Once your holes are drilled and everything is cut, let's assemble the spool. Start with the hubs. Feed the threaded rod through the spool wall and the galvanized piping. Use a washer and nut to secure the threaded rod on both ends. Do this with all six threaded rods. Don't tighten fully just yet. Your spool should look something like this. Go ahead and mount the fairlead and pillow blocks onto the frame. Place the pillow blocks in the center of the frame and make sure both sides are even with each other. Install the torque converter. See the instructions for further details on assembly if needed. Now assemble the full spool assembly. Feed the axle through the spool, gear, and pillow blocks. Use a rubber mallet if necessary. Once the axle is through all the components, align the spool gear with the gear on the torque converter. Wrap the chain around the torque converter gear and the spool gear. Mark out your holes to mount your engine and feed the screws from the bottom. Once everything looks good, strip everything off the frame. Finish your welds and use an angle grinder to clean them up if needed. Prime and paint the frame to prevent rust. Once the paint's dried, assemble everything back on. Make sure you tighten the nuts and bolts of the spool once it's aligned on the axle properly. Run your key stock through the components on the axle. This will help secure everything on it. There are Allen screws on the pillow blocks, hubs, and gear. Use Loctite on these screws and really tighten these screws down. Now let's start her up and feed the towing line on the spool. At this point, you're pretty much done. Go ahead and mount the wheels on the back of the frame however you like and install a splash guard. And that is how you make a wake winch for around $800. If you like this video, hit the like button below and thanks for watching. Peace.